Welcome back to Seven Sun Media. My name is Kylia, and I am the chief editor and internal producer here. Today on Bail or Buy, I'm going to be reviewing the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera. So let's check it out. Is it a bail or a buy? So the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera comes out at about $799, but you might be able to get it cheaper. I got mine on Amazon. In the box, it comes with obviously the box and then the camera, but it also does come with the battery and it comes with a micro USB charging cable. One of the cool things that it also comes with is a microphone windscreen. So this is amazing when you're trying to film outside because it does protect against wind background noises. All right, so let's dive into exactly what this camera features. So first, it features a flip-out touchscreen. And one of the cool things about this is that it can actually flip completely opposite so that when you're putting it away, you can protect the screen and make sure that it doesn't get damaged. This camera also comes with an NP-BX1 battery that takes about an hour and a half to charge and lasts for about two hours, which is about standard. This camera also features two different stabilization modes, the normal one and an active stabilization mode. Two other great features of this camera are the product showcase mode, which allows you to focus on objects really quickly, and a real-time eye autofocus, which allows the camera to track your eyes when you're moving or talking or walking, just to make sure that you stay in focus the whole time. And it also has three different smoothing features for your face, but it keeps your eyes and everything else in focus just to make sure that if you have any acne or anything like that, then it's completely smooth and out of the frame. All right, now for the pros and cons. Firstly, this camera is very compact, which is amazing. It can fit right in your pocket. Secondly, it has external microphone and flash support, in addition to having great in-camera audio, which is different from a lot of vlogging cameras that typically don't allow you to do external microphones. The last pro and my favorite pro is that this camera has so many amazing features, including 4K recording and the 960 frames per second slow motion, which I think are really awesome for just this small camera. Now for the cons, although there are not that many, one thing that I do wish this camera featured was charging from a USB-C. Because it only charges from a micro USB, it does take a little bit longer to charge. Another unfortunate con with this is although you can use external microphones with this camera, you cannot use anything that's a Sony hot shoe adapter, which means you can't record anything with XLR microphones. Lastly, this camera also does have a fixed lens, so you can't add anything on, but alternately for that, it does have a zoom in and zoom out feature, so that's not too much of a con. So overall, is this a bail or a buy? I would definitely say that this camera is a buy because although it is a little bit pricey, I think with all of the features, especially the slow-mo and the 4K, it's really awesome. And it's super small and compact and easy to use because it doesn't have too many complicated settings. So someone who doesn't super know a lot about cameras can use it. And for someone like me who loves to travel, it's super easy to bring with me and be able to use for just recording memories or pictures or anything I want to be able to have in the future. So I would definitely say it is a buy. That's it for today's episode of Bail or Buy. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any other ideas or content that you want to see here on 7 Sun Media or you want us to help you create, make sure you contact us either via Instagram at 7 Sun Media or you can email us with hello at 7 sun.media for any other inquiries. What else do I say?